Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bionic Mole Gaming Channel. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but honestly the update kind of destroyed my game. The iron farms, the villager, trading hall, villager breeder, all that stuff kind of destroyed, so I've been spending that uh, time kind of rebuilding and reinventing myself and uh, today we're going to show you what I've been working on. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on with it. Alright, music provided by Check One. Hope you like it. And the uh, first big major change you can see is this wall that encompasses the whole area here in the swamp. Surrounded by berry bushes. see things look are a little different inside too. This is where the iron farm used to be. Now we have pumpkins and melons here. We've got a crop farm with some farmers up there. Gold farm, bamboo, brewer, furnace, all that stuff is still there. Got a villager trading hall here, and uh, sugar cane. But And this is the wool farm. I got a couple extra pink ones out here. For Anir, he won. He requested some stacks of pink wool. But we got every color of wool you can want. Here is a map of the area. You can see the walls and everything I just showed you. Right there. And way out there is the villager breeder. And that is connected to this rail system right here. And that's how I got the villagers in here. And let's go and take a look. I don't have very good ones yet. But uh, this guy right here sells me looting three. Gives me looting three. This guy down here gives me looting five. Uh, looting five. Smite five, sorry. Uh, not that anyone ever uses that, but I got it in case anybody does. And all these guys give me all the pieces of armor. And I have a plan for that, but we'll bring that up in a later episode. So got all the armor all the tools I can buy in here. Not great enchantments, but I have uh, I have a way to get good enchantments also. So here's the furnace. We saw that last time. Group stand. Um, I have every um, ingredient, including dragon's breath down there on the left. I even have the uh, turtle shells here on the right. Every kind of potion, boom. Yep. Gold farm. Let that build up a little bit. And you see the wall goes all the way around and uh, it's pretty handy. Um, I do a few raids here 
And uh, the wall is pretty handy when uh, defending against the uh, patrols, so that will also be in another video. Stay tuned for that. It's pretty fun. Uh, I have a beacon. I didn't have that before. I got four, uh, four beacons way down there. Uh, um, so let's go meet the farmers. Here's a crop farm. Right now we got some weed in it. But uh, I have these guys here. This guy's a potato guy. So yeah, I got all the vegetables. This guy's the weed guy. This guy's the carrot guy. They all. But uh, I want to show you this real quick. wicked lag right now. Come up here. And I got some chickens. Let me fill up this thing with eggs and then I sell them to the guys. Get all my emeralds. Before I get the emeralds and then I go and buy the stuff from the other guys. And uh, I don't want to forget about my clerics. These guys have a hut down here. And I have the iron doors on there for the raids. And always seems to be a wandering trader in here. Pile up pretty good. Got all the clerics in here. They sell them rotten flesh and then another wart. Some of them buy some glass bottles from me. I sell all those emeralds and here they are. These guys have their own little place. I'm gonna dress this up a little bit. Uh, that looks, make it look you know, a little neater. But that's in the future. Alright, so no. So I run around and uh, sell emeralds and chop down sugar cane and stuff like that. And all the while, this thing's building up with pigment. And I simply, uh, oh, let's see, I want to mend my shovel. I just pick a shovel. I want to do my axe a little bit. all my tools just like that. Mend all the tools and uh, now I can be on my way. Yeah, we got a little uh, sorter here. In case you remember, uh, fills up with uh, all the things. Sell these guys, sell this rot flesh to the clerics. It's all good. Alright. So now that I've showed you the economy, I want to show you uh, downstairs. Follow me. So I built this little spot because uh, the brew stand, and then I figured out that the clerics will buy. Nether wart, so I have this big, huge uh, nether wart farm here. Pumps out the nether wart pretty quick, and uh, I have quite a stockpile. Now, this is what I've really been working on um, my storage, and I call this the wine cellar. Beacon happens to run right up through the middle of the floor, and I have all my goods down here, all the items I've collected. On the right side, I have building materials, wood, got stone back there, and dirt, uh, the granites, got glass over here, flint, and uh, pretty much all these items that you, you know, you can tell by looking at the picture what's in them. And on this left side, I have uh, mostly the enchanted books. Um, 
pretty much all all the uh, enchanted books you could want. Got plenty of silk touch. Um, everything here, fortune and looting. I got you know a handful of each one of these books, so I get them through uh, either enchanting the books or fishing, but mostly enchanting on an enchanting table, and I'll show you that here in a second. You got all the tridents uh, stuff in here. I don't have a whole lot of stuff, but I have enough to get by. So, come through this little picture frame right here, hidden in the wall. It's supposed to be right here. And uh, make your way around the maze of books, and here we are at the enchanting table. We all know how this works. Let's see if I can get something here. So what I normally do is I bring um, some iron, uh, some diamond armor in here, and yeah, nothing good. What I usually do is bring some uh, diamond armor and some books, and I just uh, you know see what I can get. And also around in the maze of books. Find your way around. Here is I'm gonna show you the mole hole. This is my room. All this stuff right here um, is going to be for a shop that I'm trying to build. I'm using Rogue Fox's lectern. Um, Use the lectern to select it and then uh, push a button and it pops out. I'm working on that right now. I have a little trouble with the redstone part of it, uh, but I'm gonna work that out. And all this, uh, all these shulkers are full with the items that are gonna fill that store. I've gone on a lot of, um, been out to see a lot and found a bunch of buried treasure. These are those maps locked in glass. This is a map of the area. I'm trying to map it out. Uh, this is my area. You see the green dot where we are. Uh, the intent is to fill in these maps um, and uh, see see what happens. But uh, we we've had a griefer, and he whoever did it put uh, withers in the ground. And if you step on a pressure plate, it places the last head, whole place blows up, and then there were four wither running around. And uh, so this little monument is to remember the wither attacks. I'm still trying to figure out who did it, have no idea. Um, but anyway, that's a little monument to that. Um, and I have like a little treasure room. I guess you'd say. You got piles of piles of all the blocks of ore and everything, slime, gold, diamonds, everything, obsidian. And um Yeah, kinda like this room. Down here, uh, in the water. I've got some coral. Some tropical fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get more coral and more tropical fish and uh Yeah, we're gonna have it. What's that doing? So yeah, here's the mole hole. Well, thanks for joining me this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you like what I've been doing, uh, some of the things going on, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.